Good morning everybody and welcome to another day here at GSC at Home. Now my name is Aileen and today we are going to explore uh, an amazing phenomenon called after image. Now I have a challenge for you today, okay? In just a second, an image is going to appear on your screen of a green fish. Now I need you to stare right at this fish for about 10 seconds, stare right at its eye. Try not to look away, try not to blink. Okay, are you ready to try this at home? Excellent, let's go. Well, you're doing a really great job, everybody. Try not to move your eyes, keep on staring. Okay, so tell me, what did you see? Did the fish appear in a bowl? Was it the same fish? Had the fish changed colour? Yes, it had, absolutely. It changed from a green to a sort of purpley, pinky, magenta colour. And the image that you saw there was created by your mind. And that is something that we call an after image. So let's explore this amazing effect some more. Okay, so we are going to try this effect again, but this time we're going to do it slightly differently. So I have drawn a yellow spot onto this white piece of paper, okay? And I've also made a little black dot right in the middle, and that's just to give you something to focus on. So in a second, you're going to see this image, and I want you to stare at it for 20 seconds. Stare right into the centre. And again, try not to blink and try not to move your eyes too much. After 20 seconds, it will be replaced by a white piece of paper, okay? And this time, I want you to try to predict what you will see, okay? And I want you to say it out loud to try that, okay? Are you ready? Perfect. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, now what did you see this time? Did you see a spot? And what colour was it? It was blue this time. So we saw a blue spot on the white paper. But why does this happen? Let's look into that a little bit further. In the back of your eye, in your retina, you have millions of receptors called cones and they detect colour. Now you have three different kinds. You have red, green and blue. And all the colours that we're able to see are caused by these three different types of receptors being stimulated um, in different proportions. Now, why do we see an after image the way that we do? There's actually lots of processes happening in the brain all at once to cause this. But let's put it simply by going back to our green fish. So when you look at something that is green, it simulates the green receptors in your eye, in your retina. And they send a very strong signal to your brain that says, I see green. But when we replace it with the colour white, the colour white causes all three of those receptors to work together in the same proportion. But the green one's tired. We had already used that. So the strong colour, the strong signal came from red and blue. And what do we get when we mix red and blue together? We get that sort of purpley pink colour, don't we? Absolutely. Which is why you could see the purpley pink fish in the bowl. Now our second experiment, we stared for quite a long time at a yellow dot, but we don't have receptors for yellow. So when we look at something that is yellow, it is the red and the green receptors sending that signal to the brain that says, I see yellow. So we did that for quite a while and when we replaced it with the white paper, the red and the green receptors were tired so that strong signal came from the blue receptors and that's why we were able to see the blue dot 
on the white card. So this is exactly what scientists do. They experiment, they try to predict what might happen and why it happened. And that's exactly what you have done today at home. Now, how uh, could you try something a little bit different? Well, you can do this experiment at home for yourself. All you need is some paper or card and some colored pens or pencils. So instead of a yellow spot, you could try a different shape and color or you could try a whole bunch of shapes all together and see what happens then. Or you can get um, a little bit creative and you can do lots of different shapes and different colors on the one page and try to predict what you might see when you change that card to white. So well done for being fantastic scientists today. Um, and thank you very much for joining us here again today for GSC at Home. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please do send them in and we will try our best to answer them. And if you try any of these experiments at home, do tag us in them because we would love to see. And we will see you again tomorrow for more GSC at Home. Stay safe and take care.